brought you down here today? Well, the Howard Stern show brought me down here. I hope I'm able to walk out of here, though. Well, oh, why? You're, you're afraid something might happen? Oh, I'm always afraid when I'm on Howard Stern. I may get raped by uh, him or anybody. Who knows? Have you ever done the show before? Sure. About five years. I did it twice. I did it twice, yeah. And uh, I actually you... love it, to tell you the truth. I, may, I must be uh, somewhat, uh, you know, uh, sadistic. <laughs> oh, why? Because you like it so much? Yeah, because I like it, yeah. <laughs> well, tell me what you like about it. Well, I, I like, you know, the real frankness that you can really talk about almost anything. And uh, the fact is that he also talks about a great many things that people really want to hear. <laughs> and what about Robin? You've, have you met Robin before? Oh, of course, yeah. yeah and yeah. what do you think of I her? I can take Robin, Jack, too. Can... Are you married? No, I'm a single man. Single and, man? Attracted and, to Robin? And, and still a virgin. Who wouldn't be? So, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you think, you know, is there a chance you might try to pick her up? Well, you know, it wouldn't be by chance. It wouldn't be by chance? Yeah, it'd be by design. Oh, you think you think it's like planned that way? Or well, I have, I have, I can't give you all, all my plans, but you know, the design, you understand? So there might be, there, you might try to pick Robin up. Well, I, I have a design, but I don't want to tell you and tell the whole world that my design goes out of, out of the window. Oh, okay. Understand? Well, you know, she did go out with Dennis Robin once. Well, that hurts my design a little bit. I'm going to have to revamp my design, I think, is there? Oh, really? Why? Yeah. That's bad? Well, not bad, but, you know, Dennis uh, presents one thing, and I'm like, we're going to try to do something else. You see? Right. I don't want to have to compete with Dennis Rodman, because I don't have any tattoos right now, is there? <laughs> but you are taller, so, I mean, you know. And better looking. R well. Thank you. <laughs> and better looking. Right. So you might have a chance then. Where there's a wilt, there's a way. Oh, is that the saying, where there's a wilt, there's a wilt? Yeah, that's my saying. Yeah. Is that the big pickup line? I don't use it as a line. It's just the truth. That's all. This guy, Will Chamberlain, actually in his book, he apologizes to women. Uh, yeah, I think he's sort of like rethinking that whole I slept with a thousand women thing. I, I kind of thought. I dug that he slept with over a thousand women. I'm well, jealous. Yeah, but he's not trying to get in your pants. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it I think it's affected him. Yeah. There. You think like after that came out, there was a lot of fallout? Yeah. Well, let's get Wilton here. Find out what happened. Uh, the new book is called Who's Running the Asylum, and uh, it talks a lot about basketball and stuff. And, you know, he's real opinionated. In fact, Wilt, like, people have asked him, why aren't you used as a commentator in basketball games? And he says, because I'm too goddamn opinionated. They don't want to hear that on TV. Why not? I love opinion. Yeah, you love it, and the world loves it, but the networks don't love it. Yeah, there's the man. Watch your head, Wilt. Yeah. Watch your head, man. I love he's that he's so tall. He's the only guy who has to bend down to get in here. Yeah, be careful. There's lights and everything, man. You can really take the top of your head off. Boy, Wilt. is that tall. Man, are you tall. Wow. I think he's one of the few guys who doesn't lie about his height. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. okay. Hey, Will. Yeah. So, I mean, i got a million basketball questions for you, but I did think it was interesting that you apologized to women in your new book. Well, I which apologize. Is in Does he start off the book that way? First, let me apologize? Well, no, 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 no. I apologize to the women I know. Right. And the women I have known. Because and there's 1,000 of them. Because, no, 20,000 was, was the oh, number. Oh, oh that's right, 20,000. Oh, 20,000, 20, 20, 20, yeah, yeah, right. I underestimated yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> We're saying here that they are, the women I've known and know, they are not a number. Right. Much more than their ladies, and they were not to be treated as a number. So I had to apologize. I want to apologize for that because I see them as beautiful people and not a number. Right. You understand? So that's all. Although, yeah, although some of them must have been sort of like a number. Oh, they were definitely said, numbers. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And I'm saying yeah, sort of like numbers. I was say, how could you Because when, <laughs> when you move through that many women, and sometimes it's like yeah. you got to, you know, yeah. you, they're only kind of a blur. Well, Howard, I need your influence to maybe help me to get a, a certificate from the uh, Board of Education. Yes. Because now when people see me walk, I have done more for mathematics. Uh, <laughs> when they see me, they go, uh, oh, that's 20,000. Let me see. Yeah. He started when he was 10, <laughs> and he's 55 now. Let's see. That divided into seven. Or in, well, well, they go for well the number has to be higher now, though. Yeah. Well, every time someone sees me with a woman, they say, oh, that's 20,001. <laughs> right. So I look at them and go, well, it's so five things, years. You know, actually, you could, uh, if, if they taught math based on the life of Will Chamberlain, right. kids would be more interested because they would be like, Just okay, if Will, if, Will, if Will sleeps with yeah. 10 women a, night, right, a day. That's right, exactly. And right. Uh, then he divides. Well, that's that's what everyone's right, doing, okay. not just Will kids. Will Chamberlain I mean, is in California, yeah. and he needs to be in New York. How many women will it take? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Robin, Robin. 444, am I right? <laughs> See how good I am at math when it comes down to women? Exactly right. <laughs> so, so you make this apology because things must have dried up for you after admitting to the 20th. Oh. Oh. No, uh, I'm wrong. Uh, I don't know a thing. See, there's always two, two sides to every story. You know, some some women say, look, look, that guy is a real SOB. Right. And, you know, and a womanizer and all this. First of all, a man is never a womanizer because who makes the final decision in those things? It's women. women. That's right. So I'm the most used man probably ever. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> They're manonizers, those women. That's right. 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 If you're there for the taking if right. someone wants to partake. Exactly right. That's right. Oh, that's, a, that's a very now, good have attitude. Have you ever gotten married? Married? Uh, <laughs> Hard work. No, I have nothing against it. My mother and father were married for 49 years before my, before my, before my father died. So, uh, oh, I thought you, said before, I thought you were going to say before my father wised up. <laughs> yeah, right. No, no. Which may be the same thing, though. Right, you yeah, never know. Yeah, he didn't wise up, he died. Was your father a tall man? Five, eight and a half. The tallest in his family. Right. Until my older brother came along, then I came along and wiped the thing all away. And how tall was your mother? Five, ten almost. See, that's interesting because like, my father was considered tall for his day. He was six foot two, and my mother was five, eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm this giant six foot five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how'd that mm-hmm. happen? I don't know how it happened. But, <laughs> yeah, but my grandfather was supposed to be six, eight and a half, you understand? You never saw your height as a burden? Uh, never, never. No. <laughs> right. No, no. Now, you said you I started do. having sex at ten? No, honestly, I said those people who are adding up, they said they oh. started five or ten or fifteen. What age did you start? Uh, I think I was almost five. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah, five. Yeah. Almost five. I didn't but I was to... big for my age. <laughs> really? Five? <laughs> Honest to God, you got laid at five. Wow. Well, I don't even yeah. think I found my packer at five. Well, right. well some <laughs> people have that problem. Really? You, yeah. you, you don't care. I wasn't going to get into the whole sexual thing because I want to move along. But yeah, I want you I'm, to I'm move always, along. I, I will. I will. Give me your chance to do Give me my chance. But, I, but, but at five? five. Yes, yeah, a wonderful number is at five. Yeah. Right. Who was it at five? Like, was I'm it, not going to tell you because she's still around. I don't mean. Don't give me a name. But like, was it a friend or was it a name? Just or, hope it was a friend. Yeah. It was a, I mean, maybe you know what I mean. Friend, you know. It must you have been were, an older woman. You, mean you were never back in the clothing clothing room, and you were in grade, grade school. And actually, we were on rugs in kindergarten. Right. Like, and they used to give us those 15 minutes sleeping periods. You know, yes. And we yes. like, go out. Yes. Then things would happen. Really? Yes. Yeah, so you know, all we did was sleep. I know. <laughs> this yeah. But this wasn't well, the kindergarten sleep, teacher. Sleep was over, is overrated. <laughs> no. This was not the kindergarten teacher. This was uh, oh. another kid, right? I'm not sure anymore. It was, oh. it was, oh, oh, really? it was dark. Wait a second. It could have been. The teacher. <laughs> wow! Oh wow! I swear to you, I don't. I know. Wow. I, I remember at five years old, I was attracted to women. Like I would see a girl in my class and say, "Oh, I wish she was my girlfriend," yeah. but not even knowing what that meant. Right. Well, you see, being the tallest in the class, right. I, How repre- tall were you I represented five? something special. You understand? I'm not really sure, but tall enough that I had an attraction. You know, that was something different. So uh-huh. They thought maybe I was something different in all places. You physically you know? matured earlier. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I figured you got a huge Johnson. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I mean, unbelievable. You're a large man all over, right? Uh, you would split Robin in half like fireworks, yeah, wouldn't you? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Robin, Robin. You would split her in half. <laughs> Robin w- went out with uh, Troy Rodman? Roberts. Rodman, Rodman, Rodman. Yeah, she went out with Rodman. What do you think of Rodman? I, I have a lot to say about Robin in, in my in my now, book. Now the book addresses yeah. basketball. Yes, you, you're let's down. Get into that. You're you're down on basketball, aren't you? I'm down on on sports today and basketball in particular because they've diluted the game so so much. You know, the book is who's running uh, the asylum and it's being run by various forces that we don't even know about. And you say in your new book that the uh, asylum basketball sports has been diluted because they raid high schools now. There's no quality control. There's too many expansion teams, right? Well. Well, I basically say that they have too many expansion teams rating high schools because they're getting talent. People ask me all the time, well, what do you think about them getting people from high school? Mm-hmm. I said, what you should be concerned about is the fact that the NBA is lowering their standards down the high school because that is their fit right now, maybe. So it's ruining the game. When we see all these uh, games now, the reason the scores are so low is why? Because uh, we're getting lesser less, players? Less, less talent. They can't put the ball in basket. Very, very, very simple. They are, they are having longer games and ways of minutes. Uh, average game is now about 220, 210. Used to be 1, 140. But they're scoring 70 points and 60 points and 59 points or what have now, you. Now you are so articulate about this game. Why have you never coached? Uh, that's uh, not my bag. And you know, it's too much uh, too much like uh, being in a box and not being able to go anywhere because the players today are so powerful. They sign these contracts for 7, 8, 9, 10 years and you have to put up with them because they're there. So it's almost but, impossible to so coach. So you can't 
can't really coach. So, absolutely, absolutely. And if someone must get fired, no matter how good you are, it's going to be the coach that's gone. You know, and I don't. And isn't, and isn't the real reason you're just too many women out there that you have a great you're life busy. and you're busy with you're, well, you're getting you got, busy? You got, you, got, you got the new women's basketball league coming up, so right. you know you, can, you know you, you would coach, coach women's basketball. Well, yeah. <laughs> you would. I would sure would. <laughs> you're damn right, I would. You would. You would. And and was it true what I said about you uh, being perhaps like a color commentator on the sports uh, broadcast? They were afraid of someone like you actually commenting. Well, they've uh, they've asked me a lot of times to do uh, a great me CBS thing, but I wouldn't want to because of uh, I'm sure they would blurt me out, you know, and so those kind of things. Because and, because you and, say negative things about some of the players. I, I would say the truth, not negative things. They may be negative in the way that that's the way they're performing. I don't see them as negative. I'm going to tell the truth about what's. So happening. that's why your new book is so powerful. You'll actually t- t- talk to me about Dennis Rodman. Do you bad mouth the guy in the book? You know, I say some things about him, but here's what I really say: Yeah, is how do the CEOs of these major companies hire him? I mean, how do they use him and stand him up as a, a representative to be their spokesperson? So for endorsements. Yeah, for endorsements, because when they do that, then they're telling all the kids in America that, look, if you be like this, you can, like, you know, uh, uh, eat hamburgers on, on television or whatever the hell of So it. when you see that, you say, hey, here's a guy who's a poor role model. Why would I want him representing my company? Yeah, why, why, not, why not Jerry Rice or someone of that particular nature? Yeah, you know, I guess because America. they're just the guys yeah. who fall into the back. So it's almost like it's, it's good if you go out and kick a guy or something. Well, that's what they seem to be saying, you know, like when uh, uh, Nike dropped him from his contract, Converse picked him up. You right, understand? right. So what's the first thing he did with his Converse? He kicked a guy in the, you know, way. nuts, yeah. Yeah, well, these Converse, I guess, I guess got some play on it. I see. And yeah. and and when you see this, did you, were you a guy who got a lot of endorsements in his time when he was I playing I got basketball? a lot of endorsements in my, my time, so I really cannot complain. And what sure. about when uh, you see a guy like Michael Jordan? Do you ever say to yourself, am I better than Do you consider yourself a, Yeah, is we, he better than you were? You know, uh, it's uh, different eras. You know, I, I see Michael Jordan as this. I see all the money being paid to these guys out, out there, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. And I think that Michael Jordan should get about 10% of every, every guy's contract. Mm-hmm. Right, because he's uh, made basketball yeah, he's exciting. He's made basketball exciting and made it what it is. And so when young guys like this boy Iverson who comes out for Philadelphia and says that he has no respect for uh, anybody, whatever, he should be taking his head off to Michael Jordan and saying, here, whatever whatever you want. Don't you well, think you were guys... the same kind of guy, though. Well, you know, we're, that's years ago. No one remembers that far, far back. <laughs> Back then, <laughs> back then uh, basketball yeah. was not as popular a sport. Well, no, back then basketball was trying to compete and just get noticed. So right, right. right. So you couldn't get yeah. that kind of money. Yeah, so that I helped. I helped basketball get. But those y- Wilt brought that kind yes, of recognition to basketball. Well, you, thank you, Robin. You, I mean, Robin, you might get a date. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you, so, so, it, but you never got your monetary due. That, oh, of course not. But I was lucky. If I didn't get my monetary due, think about what the other guys got. Right, they got <laughs> nothing. Because I got ten and fifteen times more than they ever got. Yeah. What was your biggest year? That you got paid. What well, my it? last year in 1972-73, I was reportedly making four hundred fifty thousand dollars, but I came in reportedly making uh, uh, thirty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars. So was but, it that true that you were making four hundred? No, there was there was a few few things going on there, but uh, I mean, I I made like uh, all told in my basketball career, I probably made about a uh, quarter of a million dollars. Oh, for, really? For Thirteen years that oh, I have No I kidding. Oh. Yeah, now guys, saying, but, but that's not including your endorsements. No, we just well, just no, basketball. my endorsements didn't get paid no money either. I mean, right. I mean, it's not very much more. So think of it, a quarter of a million dollars, and we got guys out there now who make in 10 games or six games a quarter of a million dollars. Does it make you insane in, in some way? Does it well, make I you used nuts? To say, I used to say, oh, no, I did all right, but now I, I, I actually go crazy. And the point yeah, is know, that— some th- guys get fined what he made in his entire career. I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's it's mind blowing And even then, like $250,000 was more money no, than sorry, it I is— No, I said two fifty. dollars That's a lot. No. Uh, I meant $2.5 million. Oh, oh sorry. Okay, okay. Two, that makes a little uh, more sense. I was going to say— Oh, well, two point five. I was going to hire you to be an intern. Here, really? the way I'm going. I, I said, I'm man, it's a, but no. you invested the money and you did okay. I got lucky, you know. I got lucky. I had some good people that were around me and looked after me, made sure that I took care of my longer lock self, and here I am. Mm-hmm. And yeah. and uh, and with all those dates that you go on, you need lots of cash. True, but you don't well, even go on dates. Yeah, well, you out at this well, point. Yeah, no, right. no, no. I'm, I was I was raised in a way that you know men take women out. I see. Thing, I see. You know, right. and <laughs> try to take them to nice places and do things. People are on me about you know uh, uh, women and so on and so forth, but. You know, short relationships, as long as they're good, are great relationships. You're, you're damn right. I'm for that. I'm, so I'm hungering for that. Yeah, I'm yeah. hungering for that. But I want to say, I am hungering. I want to say congratulations to you for you know uh, best man and wife thing and all. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'm real happy no, about that. Hey, listen, the most I romantic mean, couple. Don't you I know, love it? I it's to. always guys like Wilt who congratulate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, hey, great man. If you can handle it, fine. <laughs> well, but I want to know though, really, uh, how you know, for 13 or 14 years, how do you, how's it possible to, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know, I know, I don't know. They don't bring it. You know what? I got to tell you something. My wife's a great woman. I love my wife very much. But I got to tell you yeah. that 
Well, like, have you ever been in love? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for I'm about five love, minutes. Yeah, well. Right before you is, finish. Love is a fleeting thing when you're right. in love. I'm <laughs> sure. Love. I got to tell you something. When I was 19, I, I met my wife. I got married at 24. I was right. a different man. I've grown since then. Yeah. What that me- interpreted, that means I yeah. got famous. Yeah. <laughs> and there are women who find me attractive suddenly. No I don't. I, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. It's right. hard to believe yeah. in it. Yeah. No kidding. I understand. No, yeah, I, all right. No, I understand. Now, okay, so, you, you know, it, it is a temptation that is there all the time. Yeah. I feel a loyalty to my wife, but I don't know how much longer I can hold on. I, mm-hmm. I told my wife that last night. We were in bed, well, and I said, honey. You, let yeah. me help you. You said that to her in bed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, let me help <laughs> you, because yeah, when you're in yeah. bed now, and you don't, you, know, you don't know exactly what to do, Yeah. turn on Classic Sports Network, man. Really? Yeah, because that's you, what's happening right now. Oh, you are promoting that as well? I'm not promoting it. It's book? something that I know. Yeah, because they, they come and give you, you, give you a chance to see what we did during our time. And it's, it's a family thing. You can watch it with your kids and your wife. They show the old game. Are you associated with this uh, network? I, I, I'm trying to get associated, but I'm trying to get right. people to get a chance to know something that's out there that's good. Some of the old games yeah. are real exciting. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but yeah, absolutely. And they only get the classics. And whether it's boxing or however, whatever, you know, they do everything. Thing and they're wonderful. So it gives you something else to you know to do while you're in bed right now. Besides, that. really, yeah. Give me a quick rundown on some of these guys who are playing today. Shaquille O'Neal, strange-looking guy, Shaquille, right? Yeah, he's a big, strong, powerful guy who runs up on top of people. Right. Yeah. And uh, but do you like him? Oh, I like him, and I, I think that because he is a celebrity, he brings something to to the table. And well, he's what a about great, as a player? As a player, he, for his size, he's extremely agile, you know. And I think that uh, he could be taught to play a whole lot better. I, You're saying I, he's I, not a he could be a great player. He's just okay because he doesn't put out. Well, he puts out. I think that now that he's getting himself back in shape a little bit, he can play a little better. But he seems to have problems in the last quarter. I see. When, when the Lakers lose, so it must be if it's always the last quarter, it's about it's about shape a little. Bit. Charles Barkley, you like? Love him. Love Charles Barkley. I think that uh, not only is he outspoken, and I like that about him a little bit, but uh, he's a great basketball player. Patrick he, Ewing. Patrick Ewing, uh, a great jump shooter. I like to see him play with his back to the basket a little bit more as as a center. And uh, David Robinson. David Robinson uh, seems to lose his heart when it comes to the big ones. Right. Yeah. No yeah. heart. Yeah, when it comes when it comes to big ones. But you know, there's basketball players are in, in total are really some great, great athletes, maybe the greatest in the world. Yeah. All right. But now they're forgetting a little bit whether they're basketball players or football players. I mean, so. Wilt is really into sports. Oh, this yeah. guy's got how many satellite he dishes do you game. have? I have three dishes at my home, so I watch four and four and five games, college and, and the pros. You, so, you love know. the sports. So you I watch five love, games yeah, a day? I, yeah, yeah, at least, at least. At wow. Least, at least you know what day. I heard a report that the other day I was watching the All-Star game, I guess, and somebody was talking about the fact that there aren't any, they, they aren't cultivating centers anymore. You yeah, know, well, you know, it is, it is it is a cultivation. They've gotten away from it somewhat, playing the center position as it should be played. But here's something else from happening they've gotten away from. Letting these basketball players do their things completely. Only the stars, like a Michael Jordan or, or those guys, get a chance to play the whole complete game. Right, a lot of these guys are specialists. Th- yeah, specialists. Yeah, you know, I mean, they just well, out Rodman to the block is a specialist. Yeah. Right. specialist. And, you know, when we learn to play basketball, you're going to play the whole game. It wasn't enough for you just to be able to rebound. Right. You had to get the ball. And that's why guys like Charles Barkley are so wonderful. Right, because they're well-rounded players. Well-rounded, absolutely. Now, I'm trying to picture your life now. With the satellite dish, you're busy with five games a day, which is, you know, each game takes some time between halftime and all that kind of stuff. And then the women. So that's pretty much it. The game and the women. Pretty much it. No, I have some other things that are in my my life. And they really are. uh, Like porno movies? uh, (laughs) I mean, do you ever watch those? What about? I don't have time for porno movies. Here's here's an interesting thing. You starred with... Uh, with uh, in Conan, Conan. with uh, so Arnold, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. and yeah. Arnold has gone on to this great movie success. Do you ever feel envious or pissed off that they did not I tap you? I feel pissed off. I feel pissed. Good. Off. Let right. me hear that. Well, because they had a chance to kill him in the movie. Yes. If I had knocked his butt off, and it's going to be me getting those parts right there. <laughs> what, what, I see. But but do you ever feel like where was my acting career? I did as good a job as he did. Yeah, I feel that all the, all the time. Maybe you can, you know. Get, I see. I see. Get, get me an agent. And talk to me about race for one second. Larry Bird is considered a great player, but don't they sort of elevate him because he's a white guy? Well, I, I think that that may be in the minds of many, but this man also was very, very talented. I think uh, right. he epitomized what a forward is supposed to do, and especially in the game that he played because he was technically correct. He was a correct type of basketball player, and most people today don't play the game correctly. I see. And he did. Here is a man, Will Chamberlain, who... 
to me, his greatest accomplishment was getting laid at five years old. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. You could talk about yeah. highest scoring yeah. games. You could talk about this, that, and the other thing. He was just named one of the top 50 players of all time. I understand yeah. Shaquille O'Neal did not show up for the award ceremony. No, he did. He did not. Yeah, Made you upset? Uh, uh, very, very much so, because he should have he should have been there just to uh, allow himself to take a picture with those great guys on the, on right. the floor. It's part of the spirit of the game. Mm. It's part of the history mm. of the game, which you very much appreciate. I sure do. And uh, here's a man who could be better. He didn't get the big money like these guys get, and yet he is there to participate mm-hmm. in this. And as far as awards go, uh, this man deserves an award for getting laid at five years old. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I, Who that's gives award. out that award? But how are we going to sell my book now, you know? Well, yeah, I'll tell you how you sell your book. Yeah, I'll tell you how you sell your book. You yeah. just did a very interesting interview. That's right. And you are an opinionated man. You're not sitting there fluffing off the answers. You're yeah. not, uh, you're not uh, dodging the questions. And uh, let's face it. Uh, that's the spirit in which the book is written. Right. So anyone who is a fan of the sport or a fan of Will Chamberlain will love reading Who's Running the Asylum, the inside insane world of sports today. That's how you sell a book. Yeah, okay. There's good, no other way to sell a book. No one could know better than you, so I'm not exactly. going to figure you, out you, you, you know. yeah, I would be curious to read your book now because of yeah. your opinions. You know, but I'm, I'm going to Hawaii. I'm, I'm going to Florida. Florida. Uh, for the weekend to... Uh, who are you bringing? Nice young lady? Uh, well, no, there's a volleyball tournament and uh, models are playing in the volleyball tournament. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So you're so, just going to yeah, hang around. Ocean, yeah, ocean, 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 ocean drive, man. Magazine, which yes. they said they did some things with you, and yes. when you say hello, you know, and so <laughs> excellent. They have this wonderful week, weekend for charity, and they promised me a lot of ladies to be there. Really, there'll be yeah. ladies there, and if they're yeah. interested, they can pick up on that as they well. Can play, we can play some volleyball. Interesting. Yeah. What yeah. an attitude toward life. What an attitude toward life. He just follows the women. You're really having fun, aren't you? Uh, life is meant to happen. And look at you. I mean, yeah. Magic yeah. Johnson, yeah. of course, a sad story, but yeah. uh, you have always avoided. Uh, I think I'm trying to do things the right, the right way. And Condoms. There, there is a yeah. There yes. is a right way, and there is a wrong. wrong way. And unfortunately, I'm not here to promote to try to promote uh, sex uh, promiscuity. I'm right, here right. to saying that if you're going to do in, get involved in you promiscuity, be, right? Yeah, yeah. You are the master yeah. of promiscuity. <laughs> so uh, you should really be be careful about what. Uh, what you know, I, I was reading uh, some of the, some of the basketball players are, are hung very well, like yourself. Uh, do, Does do, he write do, about do, that? Do you, do, you, do you read that? I mean, or, yes, I've read that. Or do, uh, do, yeah, do I've do read a, that. A locker room. Talk. I've, a locker room talk. Oh. Uh, a, a special condom for you? Uh, an extra large size or is XXL those kind of Thing? Yeah, is there such a thing as a, one that will fit you? Well, I, I've been making my own for a long, long time. Is that true? Yes, yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't what know is it, a garbage I'm, bag? I'm, or? I have no idea. <laughs> he is a hefty I bag. I have no idea. No, seriously, what, do, do you actually bag. have a custom made uh, condom? I'm serious. I've been making my own. In fact, it's a business I'm thinking about getting getting involved. It makes sense. What do you yeah. mean? You got a lab in your house and you <laughs> just whip up some condoms? No, he has a custom made condom. I have I have a I have a rubber tree that I've been you know uh, <laughs> no but it really explain this to me how did you get involved in, in other words for a large man yeah you had to make a special size condom you couldn't wear the ones they sell in the drugstore well they got some pretty big they do in the drug what, what is the one that you use I'm telling you I use I use use my own I'm you know, but, but yeah. how do you get your own how do you, you get you know, that uh, how do you how do you get a suit made for yourself how you, do you go to the you? condom company and say I want to make one well you can certainly get some enough business you go to a tailor or a private concern are you serious you can go to a special company that will make your own custom sized condom? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, I'm thinking about putting putting a company together. I mean, I was just. Wait, but I'm saying, but right for, for the years that you've been with all these women and you've played yeah. it safe, yeah. I mean, you right. haven't gotten right. ill or anything, right. so you obviously know what you're doing yeah. in this area. Right. You haven't gotten so. any uh, diseases. Let's hope so. Right. So the thing is, you would go to a company and say, look, these are my measurements. Yeah. All right. You would let uh, them measure you? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, we have, a, we have a pro- a approximation. You know, you draw a picture. Girl, different ladies bring out different things in a man. You know, right. So you would right. draw them a picture of an approximation. <laughs> Size? Right, right, yeah. yeah like, Seriously? Yeah, we Are you drew, kidding me? Draw him a triangle. You know, <laughs> yeah. a I mean, no, I'm really trying to understand yeah, this. Yeah, right, I right. mean, it's a fascinating. This is more fascinating than anything. Yeah. Right, right, I right. mean, how people get you know through life? Like you would give them one of these things, yeah, and you'd yeah. say, "Here, yeah, give me that." There you go. Right, right. Right. You draw that. That's right. Right. Exactly right. Is that really it's true? Like, it's like a hand. It's like a handprint. Right. But normally, those pages they have are not really big enough. I see. So, so it's like you get poster board. Seriously, you go to a company. There's a company that you know of. And they would say to you, okay, we'll custom make these for you, Mr. Chamberlain. Yeah. But what we need you to do is uh, order a certain amount. Now, right. you go through thousands of these things a year. Oh, God. Do, yeah. You have sex, what, twice a day? Well, it really kind of depends on, on the day. Wednesdays and Fridays are my better, my better Really? Days, for yeah. no reason? For no reason. No. But what would you say you average a week? Oh, I don't know. I don't really get an average. <laughs> he, got in tr- he had to apologize <laughs> for all that. Don't get me in trouble again. Believe me, you, should, you know what? I consider no, it's you... All, it's, not all about, it's not all about numbers. You, you know, know what? You know what? See, wait a minute. Well, I use numbers. Let me tell you something. I use numbers rather than names. We but can I say something? Condoms. Can I say something, though? 
I admire your honesty. You might have taken some flack for admitting that about women, but you yeah. know, people are all liars. Absolutely. They all put through a public mm. image. Mm. But you Howard. said, hey, look, mm. here's something I did. Yeah. I admire it. You didn't, yeah. you didn't sit there and name the women. You Howard, said, yeah. we're simply talking condom usage here. Yeah. So, so if you order, what do you order, by the year? Like a year's supply from this condom company? No, how does it work? I don't, I don't have a garage big enough for a year, so we just go by month. month. So and, and you'll order how many a month? <laughs> yeah, just go how many condoms month. will you order a month? Well, that kind of depends on, on what they're on what they're selling for, because they have these sales. You know what I mean? Would it be over like some time? Yeah, you know. Would it be two hundred a month? <laughs> yeah, 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 it could very well be. Maybe. Really? It could be. I'm, no, not, wow. I'm, not, I'm not coming up with another number because I don't. You know, <laughs> oh, man, be only you know a hundred. All right, look, <laughs> who's running the asylum? <laughs> yeah, I think I Wilt is. That's been important thing with it. And right. believe me, there's some really, the thing about the book, really, Howard, yes. is that we try to highlight what's going wrong with sports today, but what we can do to fix it. Right. See, the whole thing is to try to be constructive here, and there are many, many things that you as an individual can do, or as a group can do, to help help out what's happening here. I admire you. You're honest, and you also give intelligent opinions, and you're well, uh, th- you, you thought this thing through. It's not yeah, because, like, you, know, you know, it's like a domino effect. You know, people who are not even involved in sports think they're not affected by maybe Shaquille's $120 million, but when their doctor goes to the games and takes his family and the ticket prices are like double and triple, when they go back to get their bill the next day from their doctor, their bill may be double and triple. Inflation. Inflation. Yeah. Uh, you got to be happy, though, that players are getting these big salaries in well, some way, because I, I, why I, shouldn't the player get it? Why should the owners get everything? They're the attraction. They're the attraction. They're the stars. They're the performers. But remember this, though. It was these owners who gave them a chance to be that. Well, okay. Each, but they're doing fine. No one should cry for the owners. <laughs> this is a fascinating book from the great Will Chamberlain, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, just uh, voted it into the top 50 basketball players of all time. Yes. And literally, I would say, well, are you in the, you would be in the top five, right? Well, I was voted number number one by, in, in yeah. South Exactly, Sports I would think so, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. No wonder Shaquille can't do but that. But I understand that I should be challenging you to one-on-one, because you played against, <laughs> I played you against a girl named Gretchen, who I happen to know, <laughs> Yes. and uh, they told and me she just whipped, yeah. whipped your butt. I lost to a guy who was five about 5'2". Two. Five two. Yeah, I I'm the, the worst. Story. I got the whole story. See, Will's lucky. Will is you, a great... You need to coach him. Yeah, yeah. You can do something with him. You know what happens? I played a basketball, I get winded. You just win Yeah, I, even on He's half got court. Jack's problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you and Gretchen know each other? I'm not talking about it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your friends, your friends. Friends, yeah. Friends. Lovely Remember, girl. Every girl I know is not, you know, a yeah. potential customer. Yeah. I see. Right. Whatever, Whatever happens, yeah. happens. Yeah. You, you don't push the issue. You no, know, never. You don't never, have never, an agenda never, like that. And let me tell you something. Yeah. I have, I have a great deal of respect uh, for for women and women's sports, and I've been involved in it for a long while. I've sponsored a great many women's track and field teams and volleyball teams and so on and so forth. And it's oh, all, they it's must all about have respect. really gotten after him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, the women's group really came, came down. After hey, you. man, on this show, you're cool with us, man. You don't have to apologize. <laughs> By the way, Robin is single. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Robin, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's ready. Some, I'm ready. Some good activity. <laughs> yeah. Imagine when he whips out his specially oh, made condom. About it. I don't know. That specially made condom. I don't know if I can handle it. Man, women are. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> the great Will Chamberlain, everybody. How uh, your interview went? My interview went wonderful because I was given a chance to say all the things I wanted, wanted to say. Because we talked about sex, which I don't know very much about, but people think I'm an authority, you understand? So uh, people like go. to talk to you about that. Yeah, because people like to talk about sex to begin with. Well, I, I, I think, matter of fact, most of your interview was, was pertaining to women. Yeah, well, I, I, I think it was. I mean, I can't do anything about that if uh, I have a reputation in that particular way about uh, women. But uh, I'm just a, a you know, natural, normal, uh, you know, red-blooded American boy. <laughs> and you're never going to change. <laughs> I hope not. 